Sometimes waiting for the next big thing feels endless, right? Fans of Fuji cameras have been holding out, hoping for an X-Pro4, but guess what? It's not happening. Instead, Fuji might skip straight to the X-Pro6 in 2026. Here's the deal. Many photographers love the X-Pro line for its classic design and hybrid viewfinder, but some features feel outdated compared to today's tech. This rumored camera could fix that. With cutting-edge updates, it might just blend style and power like never before. Let's talk about what it could offer. Let's start with the most puzzling question. Why no X-Pro4? According to trusted sources within the Fuji rumor mill, the successor to the X-Pro3 won't carry the number 4. Instead, we might see it named the X-Pro5 or even X-Pro6. This might sound unusual, but it's not entirely unprecedented. In some cultures, the number 4 is associated with bad luck, which might explain the skip. Fujifilm could also have other marketing reasons for the decision. Either way, the X-Pro4 is officially off the table. But here's the catch. No X-Pro series update is expected in 2025. That's right, folks. If you are hoping for a new model next year, you'll have to wait a bit longer. The current speculation points to 2026 as the most likely release year for the next iteration of this camera series. The big question is, why the delay? The answer lies in the sales numbers of the X-Pro3. Compared to its predecessors, the X-Pro3 didn't perform as well in the market. Fujifilm's marketing team has likely taken a hard look at these numbers and decided it's not the right time to release a new model. Instead, they're using this time to reassess the series and plan a stronger comeback. The X-Pro3's underwhelming performance wasn't due to a lack of innovation. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Fujifilm tried something bold and different with the X-Pro3's display screen, but it didn't land well with users. The camera featured a unique design where the main display was hidden unless you flipped it open. While this might have appealed to some purists, most photographers found it impractical. It added unnecessary steps to the shooting process and made the camera less intuitive to use. Many in the photography community saw this as a design blunder. So what can Fujifilm learn from the X-Pro3's mixed reception? The biggest takeaway is that innovation should always serve functionality. While it's great to try new things, straying too far from user expectations can backfire. For the X-Pro series, photographers value a balance between classic design and modern usability. Fuji's experiment with the X-Pro3 screen disrupted that balance, leaving many users disappointed. A good starting point for future models would be to simplify the display design. Whether it's a fixed screen or a practical tilting mechanism, it needs to be straightforward and reliable. Photographers want tools that make their work easier, not more complicated. If Fujifilm can address this, they'll be on the right track to winning back their audience. The X-Pro series holds a special place in Fujifilm's lineup. It's a favorite among street photographers and enthusiasts who appreciate its rangefinder-inspired design. Unlike the XT series, which caters to a broader audience, the X-Pro line has always been about catering to a niche market. It's for those who value the tactile experience of photography and the aesthetic of a classic camera. That said, catering to a niche audience comes with its challenges. It's a delicate balance between staying true to the series' roots and adapting to modern trends. The X-Pro3 leaned heavily into the retro aesthetic, but stumbled on functionality. Moving forward, Fujifilm will need to find a way to innovate without alienating their loyal user base. Let's imagine what the X-Pro6 might offer. While there's no official word yet, there are a few features we'd love to see. First and foremost, a better display is a must. Whether it's a fixed, tilting or fully articulating screen, it needs to be user-friendly and practical. This alone could address one of the biggest complaints about the X-Pro3. Beyond the screen, improvements in autofocus would be a welcome addition. As technology advances, photographers expect faster and more accurate autofocus systems. 
The X-Pro series could also benefit from a sensor upgrade, offering better performance in low light and higher dynamic range. Build quality is another area where Fujifilm can shine. The X-Pro series has always been known for its robust construction, and the X-Pro 6 should continue that tradition. A weather-sealed body, durable materials, and a comfortable grip could make it a joy to use in various conditions. The long wait until 2026 might feel frustrating, but it could be a strategic move. Taking extra time allows Fujifilm to carefully plan and execute the next model. Rushing a release could lead to another disappointment like the X-Pro 3's display issue. By waiting, Fujifilm has the opportunity to gather feedback, test new ideas and ensure the X-Pro 6 is a worthy successor. Patience often pays off. If Fujifilm uses this time wisely, they could deliver a camera that not only meets expectations, but exceeds them. In the meantime, fans of the X-Pro series might want to explore other options within Fujifilm's lineup. The X-T series, for example, offers a more traditional experience without the quirks of the X-Pro 3. One of Fujifilm's strengths is its engagement with the photography community. The feedback on the X-Pro 3 was clear. Photographers want practical designs and user-friendly features. If Fujifilm listens to this feedback, the X-Pro 6 could be a camera that reignites excitement around the series. The community's voice is vital. Photographers are the ones using these cameras daily, and their input should guide the design process. By incorporating user feedback, Fujifilm can create a camera that truly meets the needs of its audience. Overall, the Fuji X-Pro6 remains a mystery, but the rumors give us plenty to think about. Skipping the X-Pro4 might seem unusual, but it's not without precedent. The delay until 2026 is disappointing, but understandable given the challenges Fujifilm faces. What matters most is that Fujifilm gets it right. The X-Pro series has a loyal fan base, and a well-thought-out successor could solidify its place in the photography world. The X-Pro 6 has the potential to be a game-changer if Fujifilm learns from past mistakes and listens to its community. So, what do you think? Are you excited about the potential of the X-Pro 6, or are you content with other options for now? Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.